We but, are we are about to encounter uh, Red Hot Chili. You know, I, I, I'm I'm so in love with you and your your style that that we've written a song dedicated to you. One, two, three. I do it on a bat, I do it on a bat, a bat, a do it on a bat, a do it on a do things about me that you might want to know. I don't eat dogs and it ain't no hoes. Most of that is big dip. I got a big thing, but I'm not a very hairy man. Face is king, and I'm a vegetarian. People may eat and drink that pig. When they go home, the bar just ain't. So by the way, um, this has been recorded, and we're going to turn it into the uh, the new Red Hot Chili off the record record. Oh, off the record that's record. the B side of the record. Oh. Thanks for the watch, dude. <laughs> this has knocked me down from the Red Hot Chili Pepper to send the portrayal of a human being. Say that again. A sensitive portrayal of a human being. Here we go. It's the what? The? It's uh, the third most requested song in the United States at the moment. This one? Yeah, we're behind Aerosmith and the Rolling Stones. Well, well, there's all kinds of crazy things on there. You know, the Red Hot Chili Peppers have been developing a sound for many years now. and We think we've developed a sound that is uh, very innovative, very fresh, very new, very hard, and very sophisticated. And on this new record, Mother's Milk, I think that we have uh, advanced our sound into covering much more territory of music. And there's music on there for all races, all ages, all people, and uh, anyone with an open mind. My God, you guys are preachers. We like to refer to our music as hardcore mayhem, psychedelic, bone-crunching mixture of love, fun, happiness, and hate. <laughs> Which is uh, we, we, can, we, can, we can easily speak in, in Dutch, if you like. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, that sounds more is like... That, is that what Henke teaches uh, you? It sounds more like German. It's German? Oh, we yeah. were in Germany. That's probably why. Yeah, sometimes Americans uh, mistake Holland for Germany. Dutch, Deutsch, you know. Deutsch. It's only and, and 80 miles say, away. They say, what is los? The funny thing is that, is that uh, the Netherlands are one of our favorite places in the whole world. Tell me why. I don't know. I feel very peaceful when I come here. I just feel happy and content. Hanky Panky lives here. And besides, Hanky Panky lives here. Right. And we might even get to take a stroll down the canal on Hanky's own private boat. What about these rumors that you're going to live over here? Uh, it's kind of an unfounded rumor, but I, I wouldn't put it out of the realm of possibility. You know, it's a great place to, to raise your children, of which Flea has one, a little baby girl named Clara. Hi, Clara. Hello, Clara. You listening? Oh, Clara. Um, yeah, she's listening over shortwave radio from Hollywood, California right now as right. we speak. She's only well, 10 months old, but she's got a ham radio. So who's, who's next? <laughs> to, to have a, a child. Well, I hear uh, Greeny here has just gotten pregnant. And uh, he's not sure what he's going to do about it. If he's going to have an, he might have an abortion just to make a statement, you know, to the anti-abortionists in the United States. However, he's really undecided at this point. I've got my impregnated our guitar player. Please keep us in the voice. eyeball. In the eyeball, as you can see, it's well salivated. Impregnated your guitar player? Is that is that right, uh, John? Yes, you, are you impregnated? And I always wished I was a girl so I could have an abortion and. Uh -huh. My wish came true, What? and I still have a penis. Well, we guys have abortions all the time. <laughs> Flush it down, that's an abortion, like three zillion abortions. Play There's the that. bass in your face, I'm making one a jack off. This is very educational, what the guy just Jack off. Yeah? Oh, I, I yeah. found it profound. It's wisdom that I'll carry to my grave. Okay, do you guys want to say any dirty language? No, I said it all earlier. All right. no, I have a, I'd, like to, I'd like to say a few dirty things. Okay, well, I have one more question before you do that. Yeah. You're here for the gig tomorrow in Dam Square? Three o'clock in Dam Square. Okay, that's, that's one gig. When are you going back for like a tour? November. So on your own? With Aerosmith, maybe. No, no, no. no, no, no. US. no. Um, well, so far, uh, the, the oh, what do they call them? The freaky fucking weirdos <laughs> have, have asked us, can they play with us? It's a band from Germany that's sort of um, inspired by the Red Hot Chili Peppers. And, and they're good? Well, they've got a very sexy female drummer who wears short skirts and uh, doesn't wear panties when she plays. That's reason, that's reason enough for us. <laughs> okay. Well, Now, I'd like to get those dirty words out of my system. Yeah. Uh, flush them. You got to flush them down. Butterflies, daisies, love, hugs, Woodstock. Woodstock. flowers, flowers blooming in the springtime. Jesus, Joe Sebastian, welcome home. Anymore? <laughs> That's it. I think I think I've cleansed my soul. Yeah, there's a hey, look interview with the towers here. Uh, guys, I give you an opportunity to choose the next track that you want to hear from your own album. Well, let's bust out with higher ground. Higher ground. 
Okay, you heard of Anthony, John, Chad, and Flea, who just had a baby in Hollywood. Congratulations. Higher ground. Well, my name is Flea, and I'm a daddy, and I'm rocking to the beat so beautifully. <laughs> Well, that's my friend and my friend named Bob. Let the devil know, tell I'm no Bob. Well, I went enough to tell you about it. I said, this is the best. Went enough to say, he's a hell of a fella. I went enough to say that we know each other better than we know ourselves. Okay, and how's the wife and family? What? Well, how's the wife and family? Thank you. 